Uh, firstly, let me welcome all the current parents, uh, the past parents, our emeritus faculty members who are here, uh, and most particularly the old Brentonians uh, of our school. Welcome back to your school. So in partnership with the Old Brentonians Executive, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the second annual presentation of the 2017 Old Brentonian Awards. We are here to honor three individuals who have been selected by their peers to receive one of the following awards. And the Lifetime Achievement Award for the Old Brentonian recognizes an Old Brentonian for a distinguished lifetime career and achievements and contributions to their community through service. Last year's winner was Mr. George Killing. It's a unique way we do the Old Brentonian Awards, so it's really peer-to-peer. -peer. Old Brentonians are asked to submit names. Those names then go to uh, the Old Brentonian Executive. Uh, through a secret ballot, they vote on the nominated people, and then those three people then come, uh, and I have the privilege to uh, phone these people and, and say that they have uh, received this award. So finally, um, I'm going to introduce uh, Andrew Higginson, uh, Whittle House, class of 2003, to do our final presentation for Mr. Alistair Gillespie. Thank you, bud. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great honor to be up here today to speak to you about Alistair Gillespie, class of 1941. So following his four exceptional years at Brentwood, including winning the Yarrow Shield three times, Alistair Gillespie served as a wartime naval officer, as a fighter pilot in the fleet air arm for four years, where then after he proceeded to McGill and Oxford on a Rhodes Scholarship, and later to the University of Toronto's Business School. He feels that it was these experiences that helped prepare him for stellar careers in both business and public service. In 1950, Alistair started with the Toronto-based W.J. Gage & Company Limited, moving up rapidly to vice president and eventually a director. Simultaneously, he taught marketing courses at U of T's business school and started an automatic vending company on the side. Thirteen years later, he joined the conglomerate Canadian Corporate Management Limited as vice president and served as the president of several of its operating subsidiaries. In 1968, Alistair was elected to the House of Commons in the first Trudeau government. Re-elected in the general elections of 1972 and 1974, he served for eight years in all three of Pierre Trudeau's cabinets. In 1971, as the first minister of science and technology, from 1972 to 1975 as a ministry, Minister of Industry, Trade and Commerce, and finally from 1975 to 79 as the Minister of Energy, Mines and Resources. He returned to business in 1980 as Chairman of the Brewer, Carling O'Keefe Limited, Chairman of the National Westminster Bank of Canada, and Chairman of Scotia Coal Sin Fuels Consortium. He also founded the Scotia Sin Fuels Limited to buy and rehabilitate the former Gulf oil refinery at Point Tupper, Nova Scotia. As a retirement project, he became co-owner of Cremor Springs Brewery Limited in Cremor, Ontario, and where he held that position for several years. He also served as a director on a number of other commercial, public, and private corporations, as president of the Canadian Opera Company, and as a director of a number of not-for-profit enterprises. In 1999, Alistair Gillespie was appointed an Officer of the Order of Canada. It is with great pleasure and appreciation of service today that I would ask you please join me in congratulating Alistair Gillespie, Class of 1941, as the recipient of the 2017 Old Brentonian Lifetime Achievement Award. Unfortunately, Alistair was unable to join us today, but I would ask that his nephew, Mr. Or, sorry, Mr. Dr. Ian Gillespie, uh, to come up and accept the award on his behalf. Afternoon, and uh, thank you very much. Uh, it truly is a privilege to be on this beautiful campus 
and to accept this award on behalf of my uncle, the Right Honorable Alistair Gillespie. Now, Alistair celebrates his 95th birthday the day after tomorrow. Uh, so that's Monday, May 1st. And, and as we proceed through the journey of life, uh, our functional capacity diminishes, and that's something that we all face. The challenge of traveling from Toronto to accept this special award was more than one could reasonably expect from a gentleman of that age. Dr. Dilip Jeste, who's a distinguished professor of psychiatry and neuroscience at uh, UC San Diego, gave an interesting presentation a few years ago where he talked about successful psychosocial aging. And in that, he had a focus on happiness and wisdom throughout the lifespan. And you might expect, as functional capacity goes down like this, that our happiness might as well. But that isn't what occurs. Instead, it's a U-shaped curve that looks more like this. And um, that's uh, defined by some fairly extensive research at a number of different sites, so that both happiness and wisdom increase later in life. For those of you that are in the midlife portion, you have some optimism of things to look forward to. <laughs> so for my uncle, you can well imagine that when Bud Patel called him to advise him that he was the recipient of the 2017 Brentwood Lifetime Achievement Award, he was overwhelmed by the news. Although in typical humble fashion in his letter to Mr. Patel, he said that he's still not sure what he might have done to deserve it. <laughs> he went on to say, as much as I would have liked to visit the school this spring, it isn't as easy as it once was. And he expressed appreciation that I could accept his invitation to receive the honor on his behalf. He went on to say, it's been a few years since I sat in the classroom or stood on the pitch. But without question, Brentwood challenged us in classroom as well as on the field. And it played a formative role in our lives and overall development. Most importantly, it prepared us for what would follow. My brothers and I were inspired by the sports program as it developed character and a healthy competitive spirit. When we weren't having to unite with our teammates against Shawnigan or other opposing schools, we could continue to engage in our sibling sports rivalries, whether in track and field, squash, tennis, or badminton. On receiving this honor, I would like to particularly recognize the many outstanding Brentwood teachers and coaches that helped me, pushed me, inspired me, believed in me, and called me out when necessary to truly do my very best. To them I owe an equally large lifetime gratitude. Thank you again for the recognition and my very best wishes to Brentwood. De Manu in Manuum. Thank you. great pleasures I have is to make those phone calls and, and I would s suggest that all three reci recipients were quite emotional when I when I phoned them and it's interesting when I send an email as, as head of school how quickly people get back to me <laughs> um, but but Alistair I'll say in particular uh, was was emotional when I was speaking with him you know of how important this is an order of Canada recipient but getting a, an award from his old high school way back when uh, you know, meant as much, if not more, to him as well. That speaks to the experience that he had and that we all have at the school as well.